Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 8 of the Jojo Show. We're here. Uh, my name is Christian Tolado, over there, Eric Tolado. And we're wearing the exact goddamn same thing. What's going on? Can you tell the difference? Who knows? Who's Adrian? Uh, who's Adrian? Well, look, will we find out who Adrian is? I think that's the question of the show going forward. Who's no Adrian? No one knows. We don't know. Um, so, we got episode 8 of uh, the Jojo episode. Um, part 2 of the fight. Entertaining, Mister. Good fight with Mister and whatever the fuck mystery man dude's name is. I think we ever get his name. All right. Uh, we get that fight. Dude with fight. dumb haircut. A lot of dumb haircuts to come. Yep. So we get that fight. Uh, what else we got? We got questions and we got the fashion god. Probably gonna be the hardest fashion god yet. All right. Also, it is the end of the first side of the of the fashion god. There we go. We're gonna go to the other side. You no, know, next next week we're on the other side. So, we're, we're getting deep into the tournament. All right, we're not we're even deep. in round two yet, but yeah. We're not in round two, but we're getting deep. All right, so, I don't know. Let's just get straight into the episode. All right. Episode starts off. Mr.'s backstory. <laughs> Eric not buying it. I, uh, what do you reckon? It's all right. It's not as good as the other one. I didn't get sure. the feels. Uh, he's just a carefree guy going through yeah, life. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. care. He's a, he's a little simple, a little easy going. It's about fate. Alright, one night, he's walking down the street, and he witnesses a brutal scene. Brutal. Uh, a gang was trying to uh, rape a woman in a car. Mr. who normally doesn't get involved, felt that he had to do, had to do it this time. Yes. Uh, the, uh, the pull of fate, as it were. Pulls uh, the guy out of the car. Pulls the guy out of the car. Uh, he pulls him out of the car without any hesitation. The guy pulls his gun, shoots Mr. Because... You know, he's, he's off guard, yeah. he's shaken, he's scared, or he's a little hot-headed. Misses Mr. completely. Alright? Then the other goons get out, and they, they, miss, they miss again. All right? The hand of fate, Christian. Hand of fate. Alright? Gotta understand what the season's about. Very supernatural man. Very superstitious man, very, very, very interesting man. Alright, so he, he fucks a guy up, gets a gun, headshots him all without hesitation. Yeah. And now he's in a life of crime. That's, hell That's his backstory. You know, not every backstory has to be about, you know, a cop. Look at his partner. This is my partner. Uh, Sad backstory, because Mr's, uh, Mr's not an edgy man. He's just a good, nice guy. Just a, you know, carefree, nice guy. All right. Does, does what he has to do. And then, then we get the opening. We say it every week. Opening is go. Gets better every week. Opening is go. All right? Opening is go. All right, back to the fight. Uh, yeah, the fight on the truck. Mr's stuck there. Uh... He shoots the uh, the enemy in the head. Yep. Thinks he's down, but no, no, he's not down. Because the, he has a stand that can make things stay in place. Yeah, I guess. That's his stand power. Okay. He's got one of those you know, powerful short-range stands. Yep. So he can react to boards, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, the, the goon taunts him for being out of bullets. You're out of bullets. You shot six at me. What are you going to do? Blah, blah, blah. Mr. Can't let go of the handrail because apparently he got stuck to it by yeah. this, by this uh, stand. Yeah, stand. The driver's also Cra- stuck. The driver's also stuck. The stand is called Craftworks, not Arts and Crafts. Crunchyroll scared. Crunchyroll scared of Craftworks, an obscure band. Okay. Uh, Crunchyroll, come on. Come on. All right, Mr. uses his cap trick... To reload his gun. He's got balls in his cap. I told you the cap was important. All right. Uh, there's a reason why it's there. Because he hides bullets in it. Sure. Hides a little extra ammo location there. Yeah. Now, could he put it in his pocket? He could, but he couldn't do this cool trick. Okay. You know, just lean down, bullets fall down into the chamber. Sure. Quick reload. Also a downside, Christian, because he lost Because he misses. Yeah. Because he's, you know, on a moving truck. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, uh, Mr. uses his stand to bypass the goons, the goons, like, stand coming in to hit the bullet. Yeah. There's a bullet behind the bullet, goes past him, and the, uh, you know, the little sex pistol guys yeah. kick the bullet into the guy's throat, and the guy's off the truck. Didn't kill him, of course, because of his ability. Mr. thinks he's done. I don't know, Mr. is in a little predicament. Yeah. He only has four bullets left. And we know Mr. doesn't like the number four. So I only reload three bullets. Yeah. Because four is worse than three. Yeah. 
in his mind. Definitely. Because he's very superstitious, man. Can't reload four. Can't do it. He's very Wait. superstitious, man. He won't do it. He will not do it. All right. So then, you know, they go up the path, up up to the mountain, and the uh, the guy standing in Mid-air. the middle of the air yeah. uses rocks to climb up the mountain. Okay. Uh, Mister asks the guy to stop the truck. The truck guy can't catch a break. Stop, stop start, start, stop start. Go this way, go that way. He's getting upset. All right, he's getting upset. Sure. Uh, the goon runs over using the rocks to like crawl over. Yep. And then uh, you know. Round two. Round two. Uh, Mister tells the guy to start the truck again and run him over. Uh, he's got some momentum yeah. powers going on. He's uh, using that breath of the wild skills. Sure. Tapping that bullet, adding kinetic energy up to it. Uh, they're about they're about to you know clash. Shoots. He shoots the bullets through the stomach. Mister gets shot to the side. Okay. Whatever. Gets yeah. shot to the side. Non vital damage. Okay. Uh, Mister shoots. He misses. His bullets go out. His bullets just go everywhere. He shoots two bullets, he misses, he's got one bullet left. Uh, the guy runs up, gets on the truck, uses rocks to get up we there. We get some speeches. Get some speeches, oh, you think I have one bullet yeah. left. Doesn't matter, you if I'm off guard, you're, you're gonna get done. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of shit talking. He missed the shoots, the bullet, the guy opens his mouth, because he knows he's not going to die from it, so why, why block it? Because yeah. then the other bullshit could happen. And so he's going to let him. He's gonna, he's gonna He's going to let him do what he wants, because yeah. it doesn't matter. Okay. Right, the goo, shot in the mouth, it hurts, doesn't work, you know, he's still alive. Yep. Uh, then the guy starts tapping on the bullet again. About to shoot it? Oh, no. All the sex pistols are on the bullet. All six of them. All six of them. And the bullet's already shot. Yep. So then the sex pistols kick the bullet so hard that it shatters and splits in half, yep. bypassing the, stand. the guy's short rate stand. And... Pushes, well, go, he gets a headshot with it, yeah. but he aimed the split for aimed. the spot. Crucial. He split the bullet and aimed it yeah. in the guy's head. Well, well, stand, I, guess it, it. I, I guess the six, the Sex Pistols did, aimed yeah. it. Sex Pistols aimed it to split and get the guy in the head, yeah. pushing the bullet further into his brain. Making him brain dead. Making him brain dead, knocked out. He's not dead. He's uh, severely brain damaged. Yeah, he's not in a good shape. He's not in a good shape. He, uh, you know, after a long scene of if he's dead or is he, if he isn't dead, he kind of collapses. Celebrations. Christian. Celebrations. Mr. Wins. Six pistols, five, five. five. Three uh, punches, five in the head. What's th- uh, three is the best part of this stuff. What's, what's three's problem? He's just an angry, angry man. Okay. Likes to bully number five. Yeah. Uh, what? They get back to the little port. Mr. Runs off with the guy in his hands. Yep. Uh, John will get to the truck. He's like, oh shit, I gotta go after Mister. Doesn't know he already arrived. Doesn't know he's already arrived. Uh, the truck guy gets, gets, uh, you know, can't catch a break again. Yeah. And the episode ends. Acting tough, but get pushed into it anyway. Yeah. And that's the end of the episode. A little bit Quick of comedy. Episode. Yeah. For the truck guy. Heaps of comedy this episode. Alright. Uh, good episode, good, good action. Episode, Christian. Now, question for you. Did I need the brutal scene of that woman getting smashed in the head multiple times? I don't need to see that. Uh, and it's severity to the scene, Christian. I'd, I'd argue yes. Sure. But five times? Not real until you see it. Yeah, but five times. Like once. All right, I get it. Five times? I get it. All right? I get it. It's, just, it's a, it's a it serious five, situation. It was like three. Was it, it, wouldn't stay. it wasn't too long. It was brutal. It was brutal, Christian. You understand brutal. the brutality of the streets of Napoli. Exactly. But did I need it? Nah, maybe It not. wouldn't be enough to just show the car shaking and him pulling him out. Alright. Alright. Could have seen more, Christian. Punching in the head isn't the worst thing you could see. Okay. So, you gotta, right. gotta relax. Um, did, did you feel like the speeches went on too long? It was, it was really about nothing. So I'm bluffing, you're bluffing, haha. But it was good. It was, I just wanted to see the combo, you know. You got the combo. I it's felt just... like Mister was like stalling. Yeah. To try and set shit up, so it's kind of. Yeah, necessary. Right. Yeah. So, did you like the combo? Sure. More combos to come. This is the first combo. Yeah. I right, can't go all out on the first combo. Definitely. I like the fight. Good fight. Ends the fight quickly. Uh, we're not going fucking five episodes of the fight. Yeah. 
quick fight, episode and a half done. I imagine we'll get all the fucking crew members having their own fight just to, just to see what's up. Yeah, sooner or later. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know, uh, ratings. Uh, four, four, four out of five. five. It was a de- really good episode. It was a good episode. Good episode. Was it amazing? Was it amazing? Animation good, not great. Uh, yeah, the stills. Uh, it's interesting how they're doing the truck, like all the vehicles. Yeah. Because it's clearly three D. Yeah. But you know what? It's alright. Possible. It's alright. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Uh, four out of five. Good episode. Yeah. Uh. I would have liked the pacing to be a little better, but then you would have had to end the episode in a weird place. You know what yeah. I mean? Might as well end the episode. Flashback was okay. Not, Flashback was okay. Not as good as the other ones. Not as good as Giorno. Not as good as Giorno, not as good as uh, Abaccio. Yeah. But Abaccio is an edge master, so he has sure. to have the edgy backstory. You know what I mean? Alright. Alright. Giorno's, Giorno's on an edge master. Yeah, on but, you know, he's got the heart of the It was kind of a fight. nothing flashback. Kind of like sets up his fate thing. I would have liked it maybe like it sets up more of his superstition more than like fate it probably would have been like a yeah. more interesting choice but you know that's what it is it is what it is so good episode overall uh moving on to the fashion god segment now here we go number 15 man in a pink suit with a puffy collar. Interesting haircut. Coiled haircut. Blonde. Uh, blue eyes. Pink suit. Simple. Very simple. Sure. Very clean. Alright. What do we think? Yeah, there's not much to say here, Christian. It all works. It all works. A little bit fruity. A little bit fruity, yeah. I appreciate it. All right. Strong, f- strong face. Yep. Well toned. Pink Good suit. detail. I'm liking the little details in the suit that you can see there, Christian. Yeah. Little, little yeah. lines, little stretch marks, little little zip area, curls on this. the hair. You know, it's not it's not egregious. It's not the it's not the most egregious haircut. What about last week? A brutal, <laughs> thirteen. Can't get that out of my mind, Christian. Absolutely brutal. Cool. This man pulls off the simple look. Well, yeah. Still JoJo character. You know, still got a weird haircut. You know, pink suit's a choice. Yeah. But, good, char- good character design. Now, yeah. 16. What are we, where do we start? The hair, the suit, the This tie. man from the 80s or the 90s, Christian. Yeah. With that, with their patterns on his tie, on his, on his shirt. Shirt. What do we think? All green and blues and purples. His hair's interesting. The black streaks through it. He's a man of business, Christian. Yeah, he's, you could say he's in the business sector. You it's a man of business. No, I'm yeah. not feeling the, the tie. Well, not? Black tie with skulls on it. What do you What do you feel about the tie? It's too much. Is it distracting from the from the entire composition, Grusha? I think it. I think it. I think it mixes. I don't think it's distracting because you got the, you got the yellow on the shirt. Okay. You got the, you got the purple in the in the jacket and the tie. I think it all works. I think it all mixes together. I, I don't think it, it clashes at all. Okay. So, 16, also it's kind of simple design. It's just a man in a suit with a cool tie, interesting haircut. Interesting shirt pattern. Black streaks or white hair. Interesting. Uh, turquoise and... What are, what, are, what, are you, what are you leaning towards? I'm leaning towards 16 because it's got more going on. Okay. They both equally work. They both they both work equally. Sure. But we have to give it to the bold character. The character with more going on. Got the tie, got the crazy pattern, and the jacket. Sure. The hair as well. You could argue that 15's hair is more crazy, but it, it's, it's feasible. Okay. You can, you can curl your hair up and like, you know, like a, like a fucking judge. Yep. Get the, get the curls in there. But, you know, 16's hair is also kind of crazy. And you got the black streaks of the white hair. Interesting. Um, I'm going to have to say 16. I just think it's a more striking design. Okay. I mean, they both work equally. Yeah. No offense to 15. But, uh, you know, 16. You got edged cool out. Form. You got edged out slightly. I mean, 16's just got a little, little more to it. All right, there we go. All right. 
Now, questions, questions. questions. From, what is it? Gecko D Dragon. Or Jacko, I guess. Jacko, perhaps. Yes. If One Piece characters were to have stands instead of Devil Fruits, what would some of their stands names be? Could Blackbeard have multiple stands? Now. Due to the rules of JoJo, you can't have multiple stands. But Blackbeard is a very special man. And Blackbeard doesn't play by the rules. Blackbeard does not play by the rules. Well, <laughs> these Do, are really... Are we, going with, are we going with band names or... Yeah. I mean... What's already taken though? They're all taken. Sure. They're all taken. What are we, we going to do? It's so hard. Hootie and the Blowfish. The Beach who, Boys. For who? I'm pretty sure they're already taken. Okay. I'm pretty sure Hootie and the Blowfish is already taken. <laughs> which is crazy. That's the thing. It's so hard. And the Biscuit. For Blackbeard. Yeah. Now that's going to be for Apu. Okay. Because he makes shit music. There we go. You know. Um, stands, uh, they will, cause like, would they, would they just do the same thing, but they're stands? I can't reveal Luffy's one, cause that would be a spoiler. What do you mean? Cause it's kind of a Luffy-esque stand. Okay. That would be a spoiler. Alright. Um, time stopping abilities, you know, if you're not caught up to One Piece, don't listen to this answer, but you know, we got, uh. That's also a spoiler. They're all spoilers. Okay. What do you want from me? Alright? I can't do it. We'll go Limp Biscuit Apu. That, that, that's the answer. There we go. Because, you know, fuck Limp Biscuit and fuck Apu. Definitely. Alright. From Return to Slave, he also returns. That death number was one of the most Jojo things I've ever seen. That death number was crazy. And I think Adrian is the Hakaba to Eris Cavendish. There we go. So it's your true form. So Adrian... Is your true Who form? is Adrian? According to Return is it to Slab. According to Return to Slab. Right, he's got some intel to okay. him that he knows. Do you know? Just tell us who Adrian is. No. I don't know. Alright, here's a question. What's your favourite JoJo opening? Right? What's your favourite JoJo opening? I've seen one, I've seen two. Okay. I've seen five. Sure. Have I seen three? Probably I can't remember it. Yeah, you've seen three. You've hundred percent seen it. Best JoJo openings. Two? Fantastic. Definitely good. By the same guy who's made five. Five is... It has to be five. Eric's... Eric's it has to be five. Eric's convinced. Two five. loses points. Why? Because of the CG aspects. I know you're like... The CG's good in it, though. It's, it's not fine. bad CG. But... You lose points. Plenty of 2D in there. Is... Puff I sunk better? I think they're equal. I'll look at they're not very good. Go there. Uh, part four, the last opening is pretty goddamn good as well, because it's got like time reverse. Now we're getting and... more openings in part five. I or don't know. We're just getting one because this guy's too legendary. Okay. We might. They might change the visuals, but maybe not because they've got. They pretty much got you everything. You don't need in the to. It's too good. There. They've got everything in the season in there. Sure. So why would they change? I don't think they're gonna change it. Which right. is fine by me because it's a great opening. For me, it's it's got to be two or five. I mean, well, part, what's going to happen when we get up to part seven? Do you reckon that's going to be the best one? I don't know what they're going to do for that because they're always kind of based within the arc and like the style around that. I feel like five is more intense. It's it's a, it's a harder it's a harder like sound because of all the heavy metal references. Yeah. In the in the season. Okay. So. Two's more poppy. Two's more light. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I guess five is okay. the answer. His second question, if you had a ludicrous amount of treasure, where would you hide it? Well, you would also you would hide it in one place. Yes. For someone to find. Someone to find. And if you can find that treasure Where would you where would you hide a ludicrous amount of treasure? <sighs> not the bank. No. No. Definitely not the bank. But where, where, where? I mean, we talk, if we're talking one piece amount of gold, ludicrous amount, like ten billion. That's a stupid treasure. amount. I don't know where you're gonna hide all this gold. Uh, you, you put it under your house. What do you do? I don't know. You know, you gotta find somewhere. You have safe. to build like an underground cavern to fill it. To, to fill it with gold. Screw you have to spend style. some money. You have to spend some money. Yeah. You probably have to spend like a chunk of it building 
building this. And then you gotta safe. kill all those guys that know where. Like lock, lock him in there. You you lock him in there. Yeah, for all it, it's a, it's a whole thing. Yeah, it's a whole fucking ordeal. But yeah, that's where you would hide a little Christmas match right Yeah. Now where Popo hides it, it's crazy. All right, we'll you're see. Gonna find, you're gonna find out. All right. It's, From yeah, OG perps. What's more disrespectful? The sailor pulling out the cigarette on Joe Norris' hat for part three, or a Bacio pissing in the cup to make Jono drink it. What's more disrespectful? Remind me of the sailor thing. This is basically some guy puts a cigarette on his hat to like, pretty much to disrespect Jono. Jo but I feel like the piss, you know, making someone drink the piss has to be... But it's a, it's kind of like a... It's a test. It's, it's a, a test. It's a, it's a respect of test. It's a test respect. Yeah. The other guy's just straight disrespecting. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure he wanted to, like, see if he could, like, do something about it. Okay. And also drink it. Yeah. Kind of like a deception. Yeah, kind like of what deal. stand you have. Yeah. So is it disrespectful? So the, the, the piss had purpose, for sure. The part three was other too disrespect. disrespect. Yeah. So, so we're going to go to part, part three. three. All right. And, uh... That's the end of the JoJo show this week. Good episode this week, Christian. Short. We're getting into it. Short episode. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, watch uh, the Red Force podcast. Coming up on episode 50, King Lightning announces that he's on it, so we can start saying that. There you go, King Lightning confirmed. Confirmed. Who confirmed else will be on the show? It's a mystery. Uh, you know, Big. Pe- people like to talk about the reverie with all the YouTubers coming together. But we make it happen. We, we, this is going to be better we than We get the we. best ones. This is going to be better than Reverie because it's not 20 people screaming at each other. Okay. All right? Big, big chapter review coming up as well, Christian. Ooh, that's spicy. If you're not caught up to One Piece, catch up. Catch up because you're missing out. You're missing out. All right. Enough about that. Like, subscribe. Uh, share. share the channel. Tell your friends that we're here making content. And, uh, you know, Shanks is the Go King. Shanks is the Go King. Who is Adrian? Who is Adrian?